Okay, here's another stepper motor um, circuit that came up. Uh, this is by S Smart Creations, and it's a touch start stepper motor circuit that runs off uh, six volts, and it's uh, about 70 milliamps, and it does give you the uh, flyback charging uh, thing. But the neat thing about it, he's just using one coil on the stepper motor, and the second coil, he's pulling off uh, energy. Um, off the second coil in the stepper motor and it is basically like dad has circuit here which is very similar to a circuit he and I worked on uh, years ago which was a circuit similar to a solar robotics pendulum circuit and uh, a lot of these things are blending together but go over to S Smart Creations uh, Mark's come up with a real neat little circuit here to um, uh, run this on one coil and then uh, of course, this is the original Tin Man circuit right here, the step-by-stepper motor here. And uh, you can see the difference between th what started there with the two coils and then now with the one coil and the two transistor. But let me show you how this works. Um, if you touch the base of this uh, PNP transistor here, and I'm using different values than he is, and and I'm not using this part of it right here. Mart, I tried that. I couldn't get it to work for some reason. But uh, anyway, if you touch this just right, it triggers a signal to that uh, PNP transistor, and the whole thing starts up and off it goes. But let me show you how this works. It's a 6-volt little battery. I've got a multimeter to show the amp draw. It's that same little $4 stepper motor that I've been showing. And uh, I've got a couple other stepper motors that I'm fiddling around with, but this this was a real winner, that one here. Let me hook it up. This is kind of a messy setup. I apologize. It was late in the day. It's just something I threw together in about five minutes. Let's see if I can get it to go here by touching this. There it goes. There's my amp draw. 76 milliamps. And that's a whole lot different than 200 milliamps that I was drawing off of the 9 volt battery. And I'm using these little tiny transistors. It's a 2N3906 PNP and a 2N4401 NPN, right out of Radio Shack stuff. Uh, 1N4007 diode there. There's my um, high voltage flyback right there. And there's the LED as the bonus that's coming off of the second coil. And I thought that was really, really cool. So anyway, I, I highly recommend uh, invest four dollars or a few bucks and get one of these stepper motors and join the crowd and see what you can come up with. Because boy, I've seen some neat circuits coming out of this uh, this group that's working on this. And uh, of course, Tin Man started it. I have to thank him for it. But uh, this is for Tin Man here. I got one of these little tiny uh, six wire motors here. Um, and it only worked with 18 volts and above. I was very disappointed. And it's spot welded together. I'd have to grind it to take it apart. But that's another one of those mystery steppers. I bought this one today. This was surplus in an electronic store for $3.50. It's got eight wires. So I'm going to try to wire that up and see if I can get it to work. Uh, reminds me of that one you showed in your last video. It's flatter. But uh, I thought this was really, really cool. This doesn't hardly make any noise now, if you notice. It's not running real fast, but this is what we're after right here, folks. There's, there's your charging capability right there. That's the flyback of the collapsing coil field in that stepper motor. And I'm getting that using 75 milliamps on 6 volts. <laughs> So, that's pretty impressive. Uh, like I said, go over to S Smart Creations channel and check out Mark's uh, little circuit here. This is just a rough rendition of it. I redrew it, but uh, that's basically what it looks like. I'm using a few different parts and a little, a little bit different. I tried this thing right here with the um, resistor and the LED going back up the plus rail, Mark, and I couldn't get it to work. So I just eliminated that, and it still ran without that just fine. And then, of course, I added this part here off the collector to show the high voltage uh, coming off the, the back end of this. So, Anyway, lots of fun, folks. Thanks for watching.